How are you doing, Flare? Thank you for, for joining me today. I hope everyone's been having a, a good week. Hope you've been having a good week, Flare. I'm doing all right. I'm honestly really excited for for Outer Wilds today. This is a game I've heard so much about. And honestly, I'm pretty pumped to see what it's all about because I have no clue what it's about. It looked really weird just looking it up and stuff, so. Really curious to see what it's going to be about. But yeah. So. Honestly, I don't have much to say. I'm just excited to go right into it. So that's exactly what I'll do. I'm just going to prepare it here. And I'm going to jump right into it. The Outer Wilds. I genuinely do not know what to expect. <laughs> it's... It sounded so abstract whenever people described it to me. I'm always like, okay, I think I get what this is, but I never figured it out, so... I'm excited to see what it's all about. Oh, loading in the menu. Alright. I have to wake up. And they explicitly said that it's good to play this game on a controller. Oh, am I controlling it already? Okay. Oh. I'm an alien man. Okay. I guess I can't even really say that. What's this? There's our pilot, back from your pre-launch campout under the stars, I see. Yes, hello, hello. I've never heard of this game, but the music is pretty- Yeah, that's one thing that I- I was just listening to it, and it's- I was like, oh yeah, this- this is a, quite the jam. But I know nothing about this game. This game is great, I love it, yeah. I'm in for a surprise, because I have no idea what I'm, what I got ahead of me. So there's our pilot back from your pre-launch campout under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program, and suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. All systems are go. I'm ready if you are. You're sure you fixed the re- I'm ready to go. Glad you're excited, but remember, if you wreck the ship, it's not building you a new one. I'm not building you a new one. I'm not made of lightweight re-entry grade aluminum alloys, you know. You can't wait? I'm gonna warp my mind? Okay. Anyway, if you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you're, you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Alright, alright. Marshmallow. Roast marshmallow. Oh, 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 oh. Stand stick. Ooh, ooh. Uh, eat. marshmallows in game is this what this game is <laughs> all right let's get moving so I'm guessing this is the rocket requirements launch codes okay so I have to go get the launch codes from the observe well, that was weird Oh, it's on release. Interesting. That's weird. That's weird on its own. It's on release. Hello. Hi, Mika. Hey, it's you. Slate said you're blasting off in your ship today. Really excited to see the launch. Aren't you gonna go into space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. Hey, I'm still going. I want to practice with a pro before I leave. I hear you and Slate beefed up the model ship. Can I see it? Ooh. Yeah. We recalibrated the controls and installed better thrusters. Want to give it a test drive? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. Try to land on one of the geyser pools. Show me what you've got. All right, all right. Let's see. 
my model ship. Horizontal thrust. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. On one of the geysers. Okay, okay, okay. Hey! Why is it blinking like that? I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should... I should do this one. There we go. I did it. Hey! What a landing! Guess that's why Slate lets you fly the real thing, huh? Alright. I think we're good. I... I genuinely... Honestly, I didn't even know it was with aliens. I thought this was just gonna be like humans and stuff. This is already unexpected. Porphy. Heyo, hatchling. Here you're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let us... Let's you and me. You, me, and Gossin. Open up a bottle of the good stuff. I'm only seeking adventure amongst the stars, actually. Other stars are too... F among one star. Other stars are too far away. The good stuff is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. Another metaphor ruined in the name of scientific accuracy. Nevertheless, I hope you do enjoy your travels. Good luck. Good luck. I like the very subdued guitar music that kind of goes in and out. Right, that's the observatory. I don't want to talk. <gasps> guitar lady, banjo lady. Hello there, space ca cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Tell me about the traveler's instruments. Oh, sure. I made all of their instruments, you know. Let me see. There's church drums, Ryback's banjo, and Gabro's flute. Bibi likes to drink his bath water. No, don't. Bibi, stop that. And Feldspar's harmonica. Of course, the Feldspar's been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Anyway, you hear music use in space. That'll be one of the space program's other travelers. If you feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. <laughs> I'm used to do it. I'm fine, Twitch Twitch. So many people here. Hello. Hello, astronaut. If it isn't my favorite troublemaker. We want to play hide and seek. But Moraine won't let us borrow the signal scope because we're, it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, 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 can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? Like, uh, sure. Woohoo! Okay, here's the rules. Gonna lean on me, go hide with these radios, and you'll use signal scope to find us. That's one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. Oh no! Flare! Nope. It's nothing too serious. Oh, oh. it is it's up there how do I get up there RB is not working <laughs> um how do I get up there and then there's another one over there all right I think I see one of them I think I'm gonna need to do this. Aha! Found me. 
I know where the other one is. I don't need to equip the signal scope. Okay, I can't climb that. Thanks for the tunes. It's fine now, but it's just... Oh, I'm sorry. Do you have any idea what it is? I see you right there. Oh, yeah. You got me, but I was the last one. I win. Well, I see you'll play again when you get back to space, okay? You got it. Alright, how... Ah! Am I dead? Yeah. Ooh, I like this music. Alright, I'm gonna head towards the observatory. This is a launch tower. I think I saw observatory over here. Over here. Yeah. Just battery life? Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> Just battery stuff. And zero G cave, is that what that's in? Whenever I used to use a laptop, every time it would warn me, I would immediately just turn it on. Scout launch. Oh. Oh. Interesting, okay. I can see where it lands. No, yeah, it really is. I love it. Kind of more like a cartoony, but like it uses beautiful colors and just... Danger inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter. A strange and dangerous substance that is invisible to the naked eye. The good news is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around, Hornfels. Okay, okay. I guess I see it. What? Is there a dude here? Oh, you're playing with the ghost stuff? Hi, astronaut! You know, the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Gotson said it used to be bigger when they were a hatchling, because ghost matter evaporates. Just takes a super long time to go away. Hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm a grown-up. Ghost matter is awesome. Ghost matter is super cool. It'll burn the heck out of you. Okay. You shouldn't be throwing rocks in there. Ghost matter is dangerous. You know Ghost Matter is how Tech Tight lost their foot, right? I'm not gonna scare the kid. Yeah! I heard touching it hurts so bad it feels like your whole hand's on fire. Try not to walk into any s any into any in space, okay? It sounds bad and painful. This is a responsible kid. I don't need to put the fear in them. Can I jump in here? Okay. That's kind of spooky. I'm okay with not going in there. Oh, zero G cave. Oh, getting distracted. Feel like the game will probably. T um, I guess through the zero G cave I go. Oh, is that a little planetoid over there? Hello. Oh, it's Gossen. Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? Right. Like you weren't nervous your first flight. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. Are you kidding? I'm a natural at this. Hey, don't worry about it. Your nerves are between you, me, and the vast endlessness of space. But really, you'll do fine out there. I'd worry more about the sh that ship if I were you. Oh, if I were you. Hopefully, that lunatic slate at least fixed the retro rockets. So listen, there's a satellite, which is definitely not... Just a piece of broken mining equipment set up down in the Zero-G cave and in need of repairs. 
If you're looking for a little last minute zero G practice, head down the lift into the cave. Or don't, as long as you're confident in making the ship repairs in space. One repaired satellite coming up. Cool. Get to it. And try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch. Thank you for the tutorials. It's a fun way to do the tutorial. Hey, Bob. Welcome, welcome. Oh. This is kind of beautiful even without... Hello. Oh, this is not a person. Suit up. Ooh. I thought this was zero G. Why am I not? Hello. Hey, hey, nice of you to drop down. Getting some zero, zero G time in. Give me the dirt. Guess what I'm going today? So you're going in there, in the cave. Uh, what? No, I'm fine. Great. Great. Fine. You don't look fine. Well, you know, I hate the cave, so I don't know why you're making me talk about it. Fah. Now I've... I don't know what fweh is. <laughs> now I've got my hand sweats. All right. Whoa! 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 I forgot how to thrust. Oh, there we go. Okay. Whoa. Ah! It's space. It's space. Nope. <laughs> oh, no. Put that away. No, no, no. Okay. I'm gonna have to get used to 3D controls. Because <laughs> this is actual 3D. You're moving vertically as well as... Just... In the X and Y axis. Okay. Alright. Gotcha. Ooh, match velocity. That's useful. Okay, okay, that that's helpful. That's helpful. Okay, with match velocity, it makes sense. Whoa, BB. BB's going crazy. Okay, where's the last one? I think it's over there. Nope. Where's the last thing I need to fix? Is it in the thruster? Yeah, it looks... Okay. Um, what? Okay. Oh, I'm out of the zero G cave. Now we're back to gravity. Back to reality. Oh, here goes gravity. Let's go. There we go. Also, there was a surprisingly short lift. BB going places, guys. He might be... He might be... What if he becomes John Connor? 
not actually, you know, looking like John Connor. What if he, like, a, ter a weird man comes and tries to kill him from the future? I don't remember. Nice, nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space. Just remember, you're training, and not may I not to hit anything big. If you see you're itching to get off this rock, I can see you. Wow, I can't read today. So go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck out there. And hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed. Now that I've put so much time into training, you got it? Everyone's so nice. Something fishy about this. Something fishy. I don't know. I feel like nowadays we don't really have a lot of just wholesome games. Oh, hello? Astronaut? It's good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. What are you up to? I'm using my signal scope to pick sound from distant planets. It's set to Outer Wilds Ventures frequency so I can pick up the Traveler's music. Last night I heard Ryback's banjo coming from the Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets too. Depends on what time of day or night it is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. I wonder if this is all being simulated in real time. What I mean by that, if all these planets and stuff are actually going around. Or if it's just, you know, it, the game's acting like that's what's going on. Where is the observe? Oh. There we go. Because if it, if it is actually... Uh, hello! How are you doing, Kylie? If it is actually simulating everything, that would be really cool. That would be a nifty little trick. Here we go. Ooh, what's this? Outer Wilds Ventures, Timber Hearth's first and only space program, was founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Feldspar was the first Hearthian to be, to be intentionally launched into space. They completed the first orbit around Timber Hearth and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon, the Adel Rock. Outer Wilds Ventures founding members. Clockwise from top to left, Hornsville, Gossen, Slate, and Feldspar. So they're all still here. I mean, it's a pretty, pretty young program. I'm good, life group. Oh, awesome. Who is this? Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's a translator's tool. It's an inaugural flight, too. I'm so excited, it's making me nauseous. Just think. You'll be able to translate any Nomai text you want. Anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool. So don't break it, okay? <laughs> oh, jeez, don't break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. And if I'm not even the one going to space, how are you feeling? I'm excited. Good. You've only been waiting for this day since we were hatchlings. Can't wait to see all of your training pay off. So what's the dirt? You here to see the new Nomai statue? New statue? You haven't heard? Gabriel brought it back with them from the Giant's Deep, and Horseville just finished prepping it for the display. This is it right here, neat, huh? Makes me wish I could see what real life Nomai were like looks like. But I guess it's as close as we'll, as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know. And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Oh jeez, got a little carried away. Go on, have the ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai. 
an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the de decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet on this solar system, we still have no idea where this species came from or what happened to them. Interesting. <laughs> you thought there was voice acting? Yeah, until I started messing up, they're like, oh. There, I forget what game it is, but it's a game where they left <laughs> the messed up lines in the game, and you can hear them correct. They're like, oh, so the, oh, no, 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 let me try that again, <laughs> and then they do it again. <laughs> I forget what game it is. Watch closely. These balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level. So what do you think causes this spooky motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the Adelrog's gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. Wait, is this actually... Are they actually simulating... Is the moon that way? No, the sun's that way. Well, it might be underneath. Depends. What's that? That's spooky. Th this anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to the Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. Okay, and what's that crystal thing? This crystal was taken from a Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity destruction that's most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out, okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's that's, that's cool. Huh. That's nice. Does it say anything else? Okay. A little landing rover. The Nomai technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to Outer Wild Ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the Little Scout now boasts a warp retrieval capabilities that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost in the depth of space. Cool, and we've tried that out already. It's actually pretty cool how it works. What you see here are parts of the Nomai skeleton. We can tell from their skulls that they possess antlers, quite unusually only three eyes. The Nomai's body is most likely adapted for living, living exclusively on land. The differences in the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, shows us that Harthians couldn't have descended from no main ancestors. It's not clear where the Nomai originated from, or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. Where is Moon Man? Moon Man? Moon, we might actually see Moon Man <laughs> in this game. Aside from the- oh yeah, also, that's the thing. That- this game got confused with Outer Worlds a lot because of the name. And they came out around the same time. So there was Outer Worlds and Outer Wilds and people were like, wait, which one are you talking about? And people would get them confused all the time. Aside from, aside from the dwelling and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorated pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the Nomai born in our solar system? Or were they born among other stars and planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further xenoarchaeological expeditions. Say that three times. This piece of Nomai writing was, was essential for to deciphering their unique language. 
Oh, it's like the Rosetta Stone. Although this text is linear. No, my text often branches off from a central point, so that's pretty cool. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. That's even cooler. What in the world is this? What? I want to see that again. What's this? Oh. Oh. Cassava. We're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction. And she says calibrating the device won't take long. Okay, what about that one? Oh, oh! Felix, fortunately, the Adelrock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all, this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. Oh, they were searching for something. Interesting, interesting. Interesting. The plot thickens. All right, so I'm guessing we have to go up here. We yeah, remember no Moon Man in this game. Aw, let's turn this game off. Let's turn on Outer Worlds map. Whoa! You are here. The Hourglass Twins, Brittle Hollow, Giant's Deep, Dark Bramble. That's cool. <laughs> the way that zoomed out, that was really cool. Make you look for those on other planets. Oh, really? Are we going to other planets? Talk to Hornsville. There you are. Just finished pre-flight observations. And local conditions are good. For some reason, my throat is really dry today. So not a great day for <laughs> for voice acting game. And I'm not even drinking water. Are you planning on beating this all in one stream or episode by episode? I I know nothing about this game. So if it's a long game, it'll probably take a few nights. I'm still going to do a split of this and Valheim. Valheim will continue to be a thing uh, on every stream. So if it's a long game, I probably am not going to beat it all in one sitting. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Know My Translator tool. I confess, I've been giddy all day thinking about it. We better, we're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? Uh, I'm going to learn more about the Nomai. I'll meet up with the other travelers. I want to go somewhere no one's gone before. I think I'll start with something small. I don't know. I'm gonna wait. Sure. The know my stuff seems interesting. I wonder if what I say here will dictate how the game goes. That would be interesting. I might have guessed as much. No sense in making a translator tool if you're not going to use it to translate anything. We've barely scratched the surface of the Nomai writing in our solar system, so we still know very little about them. We've no idea why they originated here or travel if they originated here or traveled here, or why they disappeared. That tool of yours should prove indispensable in solving the mystery of the ancient species. Well then, looks like all that's left to is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for launch. Ready to get off this rock. I'm ready. To die in space. Edgy, I'm a ledge lord. Excellent. You'll be needing the launch codes then. Here you, they are. Best get off the ground before Slate makes any more modifications to your ship, eh? Are they all Canadian? Is that, is that the the twist? Is that I'm actually in Canada? <laughs> this is how they look to the rest of the world. Good luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. All right. Ooh, launch code is Morse code. Anything else cool here? This seems cool. Why am I so short? Am I crouching? No, I'm just that short. <laughs> 24 hour stream. I did a 24 hour stream once. I was planning on doing it for charity.
Well, that's not spooky. What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. All right, you, you, you do you, statue, you. All right. Okay. Hey, hey. So did he get a good look at that Nomai statue? Statue looked at me and opened its eyes. <laughs> the statue was glowing. Why was it glowing? <laughs> whoa, whoa, the statue was doing what? So its eyes opened and then you saw images from your own memories as glowing lights flying around? You mean like a hallucination? Listen, <laughs> no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch? Like, medically speaking? <laughs> you know what? Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, that statue is definitely weird. <laughs> I mean, if, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did, but why? Mortensville tried everything to get the statue's eyes to open, but nothing like this ever happened to them. I don't think you're going to get any answers from the museum statue, but Gabro said that they were going back to Giant's Deep. To know which island they're on, though, maybe they'd be able to tell you more? On the other hand, Gabro's, you know, Gabro. So m maybe you're, you'd be better off searching for more info on your own. Jeez, now I'm really jealous you're going into space. Hey. See if you can use our translator tool to find out more about the statue, okay? Good luck. Safe flight. Alright. There's something really fishy going on here. This game is quite long. Really? You need a hydrate channel points thing so we can remind you to drink water. Oh, I could just install a uh, Stay Hydrated bot. I know that a lot of streamers do that. Ooh, just listen to that guitar. Hello, astronaut. I know I gave a different voice. Are you going into space today? Are you going into space and never coming back like Feldspar? What? Yeah, uh, Hornfeld says Feldspar went away into space, didn't come back. Hornfeld says Feldspar was the best pilot ever, but no one knows what happened to him. Hornsfeld probably shouldn't be telling you stuff like this. Not something I want to think about right now. Hornfell says that too, but Feldspar disappears. You might disappear too, right? You're not as good as Feldspar. You should be really careful not to get lost. Thanks, kid. That puts a lot of confidence in my bones. Oh. Oh. Good design. Looks like you're ready for takeoff. The excitement of a launch is fun and all, but... Can't wait to get back to working on a new ship. We're working on fixing the autopilot's avoidance system for this one. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. To the moon! What if I fly right into the sun? <laughs> no one's tried that yet. Oh, oh. Okay, this is my suit. Ship log. Alright. Our ship's log. This is our gravity and our engine. Some would even call it the gravity engine. Alright. Oxygen refill. Spot a tree, walk towards it, and <laughs> Oh, there are little plants here. Buckle up. It's a big step for something and a small step for something. Let's go. Whoa. Look at it. That's cool. This mountain. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> Have to figure this out. The Adel Rock. Okay. Um. Uh, all right. I'm gonna have to. We landed. <laughs> we landed. Health and fuel full. All right. So we're out. There's something on this rock. Someone's whistling. Okay, so there's someone over there. Yeah, okay, we'll meet. That's kind of interesting that you can just land anywhere. Oh, he has trees. An identified signal nearby. Trees detected. Aud ox oh, so you do just get close to trees and it refills. Oh, it's Esker. Oh, hey, it's you. Ground control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Don't other travelers come by? The lunar outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep the set of eyes on things. Sometimes Chert comes by and say hi, but Gabro is Gabro. Thank you, Erica, for the host. And you know how Rhineback feels about unnecessary spaceflight. Don't go. Uh, I mean, anything else you want to ask? Seems lonely up here. A little. I'm in touch with ground control. Ground control? Uh, <laughs> that made me completely lose my... Hornsville and Gr Gossin, mostly. And that... They radio up to chat now and then. And when ground control forgets some up here, and they usually do... Little scout out of the village. Oh, look at all those emotes. <laughs> they forget about you? You spy on us? Don't blame them. For one, I don't check in as often as other travelers since I'm always on one place, in one place. It's not so bad up here, really. At least, it's peaceful and quiet. You don't always get that in our solar system. Let alone in our village. Uh, they'll go. Uh, was that you whistling? Probably, or actually, definitely. The other travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with signal scope, you know. Best spot for that is the North Pole. Great reception. North Pole is marked in red on your minimap, but the Isle Rock's pretty small moon, really. Just go north. Can't miss it. What is this place? Ha! Ah, ha! Very funny. Oh, stars above. You're serious, aren't you? That's just depressing. Ah, welcome to the Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started out of Wilds, travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our spacefaring technology has improved loads since then. But the older ships tended to, uh, fall apart a lot. Like, more than they do now. Using the outpost cut down a number of launches and l landings taking place in the village and also a number of fires. Nowadays, though, mostly just me up here, raising saplings from timber earth and keeping an eye on things. Talk to you later. I can roast a marshmallow. Can I do anything else? Can I invade your house? You know. That's how I like to say check on your house. I just like say invading it. I don't need to refuel. I think I'm fine. Oh. 
this over here? Is this where I was supposed to land? Esker signal scope log. Day 48, still not picking up Rhinebeck's banjo from Brittle Hollow. Sure, they're fine, but just feel better once I can hear their music. Day 51, listen on chert. Played for a little while. Unrelated, someone should tell Porphy and Gossen their flirting is not subtle from aerial perspective. Oh boy. Banjo music, coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Rhine Rybeck's doing okay. That oaf, I was worried. 63, I heard something strange. I don't know, it's probably nothing. Nope, it's back again today, too. Something strange is coming from Timber Earth. Okay, I know this is crazy. Sounds, the sounds from Timber Earth sound exactly like Feldspar's harmonica, but Feldspar's disappeared ages ago. Can't be them. It's still here. This is creepy. My signals... I knew this game is gonna get creepy or something. <laughs> well, is it invading if you're asking? That's a good point. That's a good point. Better Brock. Oh, spooky. Ah, soft land. Wait, which one is North Pole and which one is South Pole? Okay, here, Bandu. I hear a flutey flute. <laughs> I don't know the name of something. Just call it the flutey flute. <laughs> Actually, don't do that. Only do that for instruments, I guess. Only do that for wind instruments. Don't do that for any other situation, like people. <laughs> I don't know what their name is. Call them Flutie Flute. Hey Flutie Flute, are you calling me Flutie Flute? All right, enough of that. Let me put my suit away. Let me go get back in my seat. The Interloper. Okay, that's where we're going. Ooh, thrusters activate. <laughs> How fluty flute of you. Okay, so it's going more that way. I need to adjust. Seven kilometers. Six. Okay. Oh, oh, oh boy. Am I not fast enough? on. Okay. Why am I not going forward? What's going on? Here we go, here we go. Ooh! Hey, you ready to go? Oh no! Did did I just die? Oh, bad dream or something? You still look half asleep, but it's negative on being deceased. 
Now, it's tradition to sleep out under the stars the night before launch, but if you ask me, it makes you all a bit jumpy. Hold up! Going to want to get the launch codes from the observatory. Code and I already got them from the observatory, remember? Huh? Must be inhaling more fumes than I realize. Stuff is potent. Well, if you got the codes, I'm not going to stop you. Good luck. Take care of that ship. No, I, I need to ask. Let me up! Let me up! I need to... I need to know the truth. I'm gonna ask the guy at the observatory. Observatory in zero G. Is there a sprint button? Nope. I'd be sprinting right now. <laughs> I know, right? Groundhog's Day? Maybe. What if, what if the guy that disappeared is in the statue? What if he's in the statue? <laughs> Are you guys just gonna name all the th movies and things that have recurring stuff? Okay. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Okay, I'm just gonna think. I'll be able to translate. Ignore. I'm excited. Oh, jeez, you little kid. I got. Go on. Hey, look at this. Uh. The statue opened its eyes. Bet you wish had seen that happen, huh? Me too. Not even a little closer to understanding what's going on with this statue. Tell me more about Feldspar. Feldspar was one of the four founding members of the Outer Wilds, along with our our flight coach Goss and Slate and the engineer and me. As a ground control and later museum curator, I didn't work with Feldspar as closely as Slate or Gossen did. I can tell you that Feldspar was absolutely fearless, though no, nothing scared him. Uh, Tess piloted everything Slate ever built. It's a wonder Feldspar lived to see space, frankly, but they did. Flew all sorts of dangerous stunts and explored everything they could find. Then, one day, they just didn't come back. We don't know what happened or where Feldspar went, or even whether they're still alive. It's been a long time since they left. Something you needed? Take care. Right, so we're, we're just not gonna mention it to anyone. <laughs> the Matrix? Back to the Future? Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind? Oh boy. We don't even need to go into Kingdom Hearts with their crazy titles. Kingdom Hearts 2 and a half and a two thirds. Dream Drop Distance the Third Dreaming Time. Like, okay, guys, you calm down. You don't need to go that crazy with your titles. All right. We're gonna go into space. Again. What? Um. Am I missing something? Oh. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you just put all the... All the subtitles together, but... Honestly, it pretty much looks like that. Alright. We're in space.
Mark Bramble. Twin. They said that the Nomai stuff was... Brittle Hollow? That's where we were, right? Was it Lantern? No, that's a different place. I'm still very... Am I orbiting? No, I'm, I'm crashing. That's what's happening. <laughs> that's not orbiting. That's falling. Without style. Alright. What's the moon? What's that over there? Dark Bramble. What's the one they were talking about? There's the one that killed me. Giant's Deep. Need to check that. Okay, I'm far away from everything. Now my texts in the observer talks about calibrating some sort of device on the animal rock. We'll check the Adel Rock then. Because we I was looking for the Nomai stuff. I'll check the Adel Rock. It's co actually kind of cool how the thrusters work in the and how they show it to you. Oh wait, that's the wrong planet. Dark Ramble. There it is. clearly don't know how to... You know what? I was pushing myself down. <laughs> oh, I'm still alive! Wait a second! I'm still alive! Alright, cool, cool. We survived! Thought it was dead again. Oh, we landed. <laughs> Whoops. I keep getting the up thrust mixed up with the down thrust. Just, uh, that's a problem. Come on. Come on. This is so hard. Now oh, we're almost there. What else? Did I get the wires? Brother trying to park his car, be like, 
Ooh, auto. We have autopilot. What do you mean we have autopilot? We <laughs> don't have autopilot. Okay, I think it's good now. Okay, so. Church research note. Property of church. There's an old crater, and neat thing here is that this is the composition of sa samples we took from the impact site matches the composition of the ice found the outskirts of Dark Bramble. I posit the Addle Rock was hit with a piece of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble now lies. To follow up on, maybe there are more fragments of the old planet Dark Bramble destroyed on other astral bodies in this solar system. Okay. So, I need to translate stuff. How do I pull up my tran- what in the world is this? What am I holding? Oh, this is a scounch loan. I have equipped scout launcher and s equip. How do I equip the translate? I guess I need to be near a translation thing. Oh, this looks like a this looks like an archaeological site of some sort. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Where is my thingy? Okay. something on our own planet okay these things are moving like crazy okay all right come back with me little bull Yeah, I didn't- I didn't know I had- Was that the sound? Uh-oh. So it's pointing me at the planets. It- that one is unknown. Interesting, interesting. Is there oxygen down here? Oh, oh, I forgot trees. Play recording. Okay, wow. Wow, I've seen this ruin and other travelers' pictures, but seeing it for myself, it's really old, isn't it? Oh, wow. This is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, time for some official notes. This is some kind of Nomai locator. You can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way. But from what little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try to find something specific. I'm not sure. Also, was able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow. So I'll fly there and see if I can learn more. Yep, just gonna get back on the old ship and take off. Totally safe. Mostly safe. Oh, stars above. We need to find... Okay. Okay. Thatch. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal, eye signal locator is. 
Anona and those of us originally stranded on the Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there. But the heat of the sun made it con its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. The southern glacier of the Brito Hollow was ample and available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend, Conoy, would enjoy that immensely. He's always held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. So they crash landed in the system. Too close. Okay. Plume, I will begin construction on Brittle Hollow's South Pole immediately then. So someone tried... So Brittle Hollow South Pole. That's what we'll try. Collius. I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator, and it can hear and follow the signals from the sun, Giant's Deep, and Brittle Hollow. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eyes signal. The device's indicator rotates wildly and never points just in one direction, so that's what we were seeing. Felix, I see, most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Privet and I will make adjustments and try again. This is a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. An update, disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. It saddens me to posit this, my friends, but I believe we need to build a more sophisticated device if we want to find the exact location of the eye of the universe. Oh, then we will build it. Don't lose hope, Kasava. Our uh, search for the eye is what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. The plot thickens. Okay. So the eye. What if the eye was in us all along? Um. Uh, but what if the eye is the statue we found? What if the eye is in the statue? These are just my theories. My game theories. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> what if it's my eyes? What if it's your eyes? Exactly. Okay, so note to self, don't don't go too crazy on the on the thrusters when I'm on a planet. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Can we go up, please? That's a precariously... <laughs> ...positioned ship. Alright, I think everything is back to normal in the ship. Oh! The reactor is still bad. Uh-oh. Exit ship. Porthole damaged. Man. <laughs> Why did I have to park literally the worst <laughs> location? <laughs> okay. There we go. The ship is about to re-crash. Come on. Come on. All right. Whew. 
So we're going to... Let me... I'm going to at least position my ship a little bit better. There we go. So it's not shaking about. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Uh, the log. High signal locator, Ryback, Southern Observatory. So we... View rumored at Ry Ryback, Ren blah, 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 blah. To Brittle Hollow to investigate the Nomai. And that's where we're going. Southern, Southern Observatory. Brittle Hollow South Pole. So we're going to Brittle Hollow. I didn't even see the engage autopilot. <laughs> Am I heading towards the sun? And steep. Dark bramble. The sun. Ember twins. Where is the brittle? Hello. Is it on the other side of the sun? Uh-oh, 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 no! Gotcha. Engage autopilot. Interesting. I want to see how the autopilot does it so I can learn how to do it properly. Okay. Autopilot's going really fast. Really fast. Oh, oh. So it started slowing down at like... We're 10 kilometers out. It looks like there's a black hole there. I'm guessing the south pole is the blue one, because it's also sh being shown below. I'm gonna walk towards... I don't know how big the planet is, though. Might... might be smarter. If I use the ship to get there. Um. Um. 
What just happened? <sighs> Something keeps falling here. Yo. You're lucky I'm in a time loop. Otherwise, I'd be super dead. The sun is going to go supernova, by the way. Between you and me, I glossed over some of the finer details. Astrophysics is really more hornfeld than me. I should probably tell him. I wonder if there's always going to be a connection for me to come back to... The, to die and come back to this planet. And I have to inform different people about what's going on. Because if the sun is about to go supernova, I definitely want to tell them about it. <laughs> like, that does not sound like something I, I just keep taking with me. And that's, that's the interesting thing about this game so far. I don't know what the point of the game is, but that's not a problem. It's not like I feel like it's pointless. I feel like it's a mystery, and I think that that... It couldn't be better. <laughs> I think that that's the best thing a game can do, is make your goal a mystery. At the same time, you have a more superficial goal, like, go out into the stars and explore. They give you a bunch of different goals. Look for the Nomai writings. Uh, but the real goal is a mystery to you, and I think that's really cool. You! Hey, look who it is! Look, look at this. Oh, wait. Alright. I'm just reading it all wrong. I can't talk to him about it? Alright. Can I talk to you about it? Okay. So the sun's gonna go supernova. I wonder, I wonder if I'm not going back to the past. Well, I am going back to the past, but I w wonder if what's happening is now that I'm being uh, resurrected, but that I'm just transferring my memories to a, a me from a parallel universe. That'd be cool. So it's not it's not that I'm going back to just back to the past in my own universe. I'm just transferring my thoughts to a, a me from a parallel universe's body. If that makes any sense. Okay, we're going to the bright hollow. Hopefully the sun doesn't go supernova. Or maybe the sun always goes supernova, so I gotta do things quickly. To hollow. Engage autopilot. The speed at which it approaches is terrifying. It seems to be more complete at this point. Why am I always landing on a ridge? <laughs> I either stop near the north or near the south, because there's a thing over there. Alright. Let's go explore the thing. 
This looks like- I stopped here because this looked like an observatory of some sort. Wait a minute. This one doesn't have a black hole in it. <laughs> no, it does. Oof. I'm okay. Activate the gravity cannon. Okay. Call the shuttle home. Maybe I should read. The shuttle is currently resting at the quantum moon. Okay. start doing stuff and you have no idea. The crossroads. Okay, this planet's falling apart. I feel like I'm in, like, interstellar or something. I'm too close! I'm too close! <laughs> I'm too close! <laughs> this is a bad idea! <laughs> oh yeah, because of how light distorts, I'm seeing it as if it were the outside, but I'm just going deeper into it. So I actually want to go there. To get out. Or not. Welcome to the White Hole Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Okay. Poke, every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower's warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body, in this case, Brittle Hollow. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during this alignment to be warped. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing stuff. Okay. 
Oh, is that what the S's are? They're for transferring me around? Return warp status charged. Step into the warp receiver platform to activate return warp. Departure time. Arrival time. Okay, so I guess I'm in the North Pole. I have a feeling this is the North Pole. Or South Pole. The Hanging City, below 50 meters. Okay. Oh. 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 Um, I'm genuinely just kind of like trying to understand. Oh, here's a some more archaeological findings. Stuff here for me. What was that? To our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the White Hole Station on the other side of the Brittle Hollow's black hole. Our design worked. We've successfully recreated warp travel. Oh, so they're using the power of a black hole to create warp travel. Interesting, this is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower, although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. I don't know how close it is to Ivana's original design, but as long as what we've built works, then I'm delighted. I knew we could do it. Cassava, I hope you're reading this. Poke. Or poke. Wait. This can't be correct. Clary, have you seen the readings? If they were accurate, then... They would violate ca casuality. Causality. There must be an equipment error somewhere. I'm returning to the White Hole Station. If you and Root meet me there, we can run full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. Don't tell Kasav. Wait, this, have you seen the vision? They would violate causality. What are these things? Now, I have to be completely honest. The entire time I've been playing this, Space Oddity has been playing non-stop in my head. And I really just want to break into song. <laughs> but I, I probably remember half of the lyrics. Which honestly is probably the biggest problem here. But I would totally just break into song. And I have to say too, this is something I don't <laughs> I don't know why. I This is a person. This is the face I look at whenever I This is what they looked like? This is very different from the skeletons. This thing's got to chill a little bit. But yeah, I have, I have to say something that, honestly, for some reason, I've always subconsciously thought, but I'm just putting two and two together now. For some reason in my mind, when I think of... Uh... <laughs> this is gonna sound weird. When I think of... What's his name? Oh no, I just forgot. What's the name of the guy that that sings Space Oddity? That made Space Oddity. So famous. He's like, he's... What's his name? Has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. <laughs> That's it's like a post on something. Like, I'd like to hear your thoughts. 
I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis. Could it be a shift in the light spectrum? Hmm. Suppose this moon is too shy to show its face. I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it much like its violent friend, Alu's Lantern? Imagine if there were two volcanic moon. The other one. Okay, I'll, I'll go down this. Then I imagine there'd be none of us left. Hypothesis. There can exist too much lava. Uh, I'd strongly prefer we test the null hypothesis. The moon, this moon isn't volcanic to my unaided eyes. Sometimes it leaves its friend Hollow Lantern for nights at a time. Nights the moon circles this planet appears random. Seems to travel as it likes. I wonder if they were talking about the comet. There's a bunch of stuff crashing. Did something happen while I was out? <laughs> I feel like there's a much higher than normal number of things crashing. <laughs> I need more oxygen. I'm gonna go back here to the... Is it these ruins? One of these places had oxygen. Oh. That was fuel. Oh. Feldspar. Spare... Jet fuel. Jet pack fuel. It's annoying to schlep across a planet. To the ship if I can't use my jetpack, so I'm leaving this here. I checked with my little scout. I do to use it. Hornsfell, you burnt marshmallow. And the scout's integrity reading said the piece of brittle hollow is stably. Is as stable as any. But who knows? If the fuel is still around, feel free to use it. If not, well, wherever you're reading this note, I'm sure you've got bigger plans. Okay. How's the ship multiple kilometers away? It was just here. Is it in the sun? Hey. Am I not in the bright hollow? Where am I? <laughs> Brittle hollow, not bright hollow. Why is my ship so far away? I'm running out of air. Okay, I'm gonna try making this. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. Yes! No, no, no! Can I pick it up? <laughs> Tower Quantum Knowledge. Tower Quantum Knowledge. Almost out. Come on, come on. Make it, make it, make it. Please tell me there's oxygen somewhere. Welcome to this place above. Okay, 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 okay. Up, up. I need to go up. It's not gonna be long enough. Come on, come on.
I saw a lot of stuff this time. Yeah, to me, it really feels like it might be. I'm just going. Because what is that? What is that thing? I'm going quickly. I want to know what that is that keeps breaking apart. Every time. Yeah, there it is. Doesn't seem like it's gonna stay. Maybe if I park here? I feel like I'm slowly becoming a mad person. So someone shot themselves out of this. And I want to know who or what. Launch module? Okay. Probe tracking module? Okay. And... What? Control module. Alright, let's check... Let's check a look at the control module. Launch module projection stone. Okay.
Okay. What if I put it here? Pavins. Mallow, buy my better 50%. Cassava is sending the last of the cannons components. Soon, relatively speaking, we'll know the eye's precise location. The thought of concluding our elders' curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. Kasava tells me he and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting we are not under any circumstances to go above. I see. And I am right to think that. Consequently, we'll be ignoring that setting? I can posit with nearly 100% certainty that our friends have accounted for our nature, so I suggest we do. Giving the orbital probe cannon all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Maybe that's what we see at the beginning, is someone shooting it towards the eye. Yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can, as far as it can. Okay, okay, they sent a probe. That's the probe. <laughs> Sounding like a crazy bird. I gotta find the probe. Okay. So, we're gonna check the probe. What's the probe room? Launch module? No. Ship? No. Probe tracking module. This one. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, can I check? No. Space movement is hard. <laughs> Which one is this? Launch module. Let's check. Launch module. to do this is crazy <laughs> okay. wait a minute this looks like the other half of what we saw inside the br the bright hollow. Oh, can I not go? I thought I saw a crack in the glass. I thought I saw a crack in the glass. Maybe this is the wrong one. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Tracking module. Imagine, Privet, <laughs> probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. I am honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once anyway, so who minds if it compromises the orbital probe's cannon structure integrity slightly. So it just happened, wait. Okay, this is my theory. This is my theory. It's parallel universes like we were saying, so this is all happening in a parallel universe. Maybe not even a parallel universe, but a parallel dimension in this universe. 
So, like, we're seeing each other, we're all coexisting at the same time, but we'd never reach each other. I would mind, Mallow. I would mind, because we won't be capable of receiving our probe data if the probe tracking module is destroyed, which is what happened. So this happened. Okay. Okay. What happens if I put it this here? Oh. Tells me what it was when it was new. Oh. Oh, is this where we got it? Okay, and I'm gonna test this here. Mallow, my better 50. So I was saying. Okay, this is what we read already. Okay, so I need to get my hands. Guessing I won't be able. Yeah, I won't be able. I need to get to the last part. Uh oh. My nice ship. Which part that broke off is the one that I need to get to? Is it this one? No, this is it. Oh, I think it's that one. Wait, what? Something. No, 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 no. I don't want to land. This is a gas giant. Oh boy. It's a storm. Here it comes again. That's cool. I think I actually saw the part I wanted crash into the atmosphere. That's a problem. But yeah, I don't think. Alright, we're going in. This is crazy. Woo! Back in, back in. Danger. Ghost matter detector near. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I 
ghost matter. try going for the part that I know I need from that. It's that third part. We're going quickly again. I do imagine this is what it feels like. What it feels like in something like Groundhog's Day. You're just like, okay, I'm up. There's something I need to do. Go, go, go. <laughs> I bet that that's the feeling. We need to write ourselves. That's a ship. This is crazy. Is there a dude there? There's someone here! Okay. <gasps> There's something over there too. Okay. Your options. Okay, it's like actual options, not in game option. Nice, it's you. Good to see you made it here in one piece. It's the solo, this first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? So hey, don't freak out or anything, but lately I keep like dying repeatedly. I don't know, it's pretty weird. What about you? Have you died lately? Is it just me? No, it's me too, I'm on a time loop. Time has been behaving unusually lately. Yeah, time loop makes sense, cool. You're taking it pretty well. Right back at you. Personally, I like new experiences, and I've never been in a time loop before. I mean, I don't think I've been in a time loop before this one. It looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell There's that time's gone all weird. I tried radioing Hornsville and asking if they died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. Even if I tell Hornsville about the time loop, I'll never remember by my next one. They don't realize anything's different. Here's another th weird one for you. Every time I die, all of my memories from that loop replay back to me. I'm pretty sure that's related to the big stone Nomai statue I found on one of the other islands. I was looking at it, and a statue opened its eyes and started glowing. It replayed my memories like I'd seen them through my own eyes. This like what's happened every time I die. That happened to me when the statue of the museum. You too, huh? Then the Nomai statues must have something to do with why we're the only ones aware of this time loop. So, no glowing statue, no time loop awareness. I think that's going to be my leading theory. But if you find out anything new about the statues or the time loop, let me know. Okay, the ship's still intact. Ship's still fine. 
So the storm and the planets lift up. Oh, and then it pulls me back down. Okay. Interesting. Oh! No, no, no. This planet is crazy. <laughs> Granted, everything in this in this game so far is crazy. What in the world? And there's fire. How did the fire survive getting underwater? How did the Oh. I can doze off? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Just need to get back to my ship. Ooh. Ghost man. In here, I'm guessing. Yeah. Everywhere there's these little crystals. I saw something else interesting. I'm actually gonna just keep my suit. Well, I saw this, but it was full of... Okay, so this is not what I want. Or is it? No, this is not what I want. Well, that's a big storm. What if it's underwater? This is the island I was in. Now that I saw more islands. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Statue workshop? Okay. Hopefully I don't get pulled up. That's... Oh! Here we go. That's cool. He's detected. I guess this is their location stone for this planet. They kind of made a little... base here. This is how it locates this one. That's my guess. Gotta love a game where you're just guessing everything. You have no idea. <laughs> They're going to test the memory statue tonight. Flux says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. But what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? Flox specifically told us not to do that. I really want to see the test too, Lamy, but that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Flox will let us see a later test. I wonder if only one person's memory can be attached to each statue, so by when I took over that statue and the other guy took over the other statue, we've essentially killed one of their people. And yes, these storms do remind me of Wind Waker now that you mention it.
But these are all my theories. My game theories. Thanks for watching. Here's this again. Okay, I see a path. to go there. Let me out. Just want to go out. Do, under do understand why? Oh, this is another launcher. This is another launcher. Not a line, though. Welcome to the giant deeps, friend. I'm excited for you to meet the statues. If not, if I'm not in my dwelling, I'm likely in the workshop below, inside the island. Okay, so yeah, they, they moved around through these. That, oh, this planet has two times gravity, that's why I'm so heavy. So hard to... It's actually kind of cool, the clouds actually look very, like, storm cloudy. Sometimes it looks fake, but in a weird way, it still looks stylized, but it looks realistic. Because, I don't know, I feel like many times when games or other things do lightning, it's very just like, lightning, and it's, you, it's very visible lightning, but like lightning within clouds. It's a cool look that you don't usually get to see, but it looks very realistic, because many times we don't see the lightning, we only see... Uh, it's light in, in the clouds. It feels though like the module of the, of the spaceship only fell into the planet once I looked at it. So maybe it's something that triggers once I see it. So what I'm gonna do is exit the planet, look at it, oh, oh, that was close. See, there it goes. Or is that the island? Actually, these might just be the islands going in and out. This is the one I was at. Going back in. I'm actually gonna go into the water. Or am I? So this is the one that had ghosts and stuff. This is the one I was at just now. Okay, we're going in the water. Hopefully, it can take it. like the big one the big one is kind of around the okay. I know what we need to do then here 
we go. There we go. Eye of the storm. Ooh. Bit rocky, but you got it. <sighs> this <clears throat> this game is a journey, man. <laughs> it's crazy. There are just so many unexplored things that I've already checked out. And I have no idea about. Like, even in the Bright Hollow... <clears throat> I just saw so many things there, and I didn't really fully... do anything with them. Gravity is very... Be welcome in this place. This tower shares with all who ask the knowledge needed to make his or her first quantum journey. Okay. Enter this place without friends, however. These are lessons to learn for yourself. Interesting as well. Seek the Wandering Arch. Is that it? I saw something. Oh no! <laughs> I can't take it out of my sight. Because the moment I stop looking at it, it disappeared. Some stuff. <laughs> All right, next. Observing a quantum object. Observing an image of a quantum object. These are the same.
right. I did I did know about this. As long as it's there's something I'm no quantum science expert. But there's something that as long as it's being seen, it remains the same. The moment neither you nor thing so that's why seeing an image of it is the same thing as seeing it because it will it will not change so as long as it's being seen in any manner it stays that's a very brief way i can explain it like maybe not even very accurately but okay so i need to get it So yeah, I need to launch scout, take a snapshot. There we go. So now that it's there, it's going to remain there. There we go. Quantum puzzles. Here's the thing again. It's going to become quantum portal. Love me some puzzles. The arch and the crystal do not naturally meet. Okay. We'll make it. The crystal do not naturally meet. thinking and quantum physics try to do it with the now you're thinking with portals with that in <sighs> okay this is the last one but we made it harder okay okay oh three of them need to match okay The sun just burned up. Why did it take so much longer to burn up this time? <laughs> it doesn't make any... Oh. oh, this game! <laughs> I lived a long time this time. This is going to be my last attempt for the night. I'm going to go back in. I want to finish the quantum lesson. Let's go! Yeah, I almost crashed. <laughs> Need to get in the big storm.
go. Oh, oh, wrong side. Find the big one. Where is the big one? Oh, it's south. It's south. Okay. Up we go. Up we go. Up we go. There we go. That's it. Hey. All right. We're getting really good at this. So now, hopefully, before the sun explodes, I can finish it. I'll do it as quickly as I can. Also, from a game design standpoint, this is so smart. Because you need to create a lot less content. In the sense that, like long sequential content and much more content all over the place and that so you don't need to make a linear story in terms of gameplay that didn't make any sense you don't need to make a linear story that needs to be experienced in one manner the story are pieces that you bring together in many different ways. Okay. Now we know how to do this. We are fantastic. I was gonna say fine. Fantastic game map. Blam! My other theory is that it will always kick you out. The sun will always come through at the same time. Which means you can never progress. Okay, two at the same point. Blam. Here we go. Oh, I stopped looking. Um, <laughs> that scout just went through the floor. Oh! We offer our congratulations. You've learned the rule of quantum imaging. Take this knowledge with you on your remainder of your quantum pilgrimage. Remember, the other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. Our curiosity goes with you on your journey. You walk in the footsteps of those who came before you. Your path guides those who will follow later. Not wrong. 
Now, you're thinking with... I tried that already. <laughs> Come on. So, I will try one last thing. And it's now that we're in the eye of the storm. I'm going down. Oh, it doesn't let me. It doesn't let me. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So the last shard of the station needs to be nearby. Okay, you know what? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Ooh, baby! Is it gonna use a planetary sling to put- to throw me? It might use a planetary sling to throw me. I feel like that might be way too advanced <laughs> for this game to be simulating. <laughs> Interesting route it took, though. Only I knew there was autopilot in the beginning. What was that? Is that the bright hollow? Is that all that remains of it? Yeah. Okay. Clary, this is troublesome. It seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle into ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. Even if it did, couldn't someone call it back home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin? Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were without shuttle until someone recalled it. Perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. Suppose one of us remained in the shuttle to keep it warm, continue monitoring the surface. This would be wise, I think, Clary. If you don't mind waiting here with it, Poke and I will continue to investigate the surface. Okay. So there is no entrance because the ship accidentally froze up there. Ooh. That 
to its south pole. Here it is. The south pole. Nothing too exciting here. Surprisingly, nothing interesting. Huh. Nothing here. Huh. Huh. Maybe I'll check the North Pole. to have anything here either. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. We're going awfully close to the sun. to the sun. <laughs> this is just a lot of intense silence. <laughs> come on, come on. Yes! <laughs> Interesting. All right. I'm going to land on the Brittle Hollow, and I'm going to stop there. <laughs> I don't even know what to think.
riskiest landing. All right, I'm gonna stop here. I swear I'm gonna stop here. I'm totally not playing still. I'm totally not extremely engaged in, in this game. stop now I hope you guys are enjoying this I mean I am really enjoying this it's crazy this is crazy I don't, I don't even know what to say I'm loving it <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. I, I just want to... I'm excited to find out what comes next. That's that's it. <laughs> I'm excited to find out what comes next. Can I pause? Can I quit this allowed? Oh, it resets the loop? So we can't stop. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> there you go. We reset the loop. It's fine. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> I'm walking out in space with no helmet. <laughs> oh, boy. That was a productive loop, I think. We did some quantum exploration. <gasps> Funny thing is that that thing seems to shoot a different way every time. Alright. Well, thank you for watching this insane game. I can't wait to play it again. And as a reminder, this week's stream schedule is a little bit different. I'll be streaming tomorrow and Saturday. I will not be streaming on Friday. So remember that I'll be streaming tomorrow and Saturday. This is going to make it very tight for other things. This is just me thinking. But I'll definitely be playing more of this tomorrow. <laughs> definitely be playing more of this. So, you're enjoying me, watching me just lose my mind over things that are happening? I'm back. Every time, 8 p.m. So, I'm going to switch over to some Valheim. To rest and decompress a little bit after this. This is interesting. This is very interesting. Alright. So, I will be seeing all of you in just a couple minutes. Take a bathroom break. Relax. Enjoy your family and friends around you and be happy. I think it's this music. But I'll be back. And hydrate. Hydrate. Thank you. Thank you, Bo. I'm feeling a little bit thirsty. This was a lot of talking. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know why in... I don't know why in beverage ads, beer, even sodas or whatever.
Keeper always like so sensually drinking it. It's like, oh, like why? <laughs> Enjoy your water, but don't do it like that. Anyway, thank you for watching, everyone. And I'll be back in a few minutes. Stay tuned for some Valheim. And take a bathroom break and hydrate. That's everything. See you soon. And the music stops. I forgot that the music stopped. I need to get the soundtrack. This soundtrack is, ooh. It's that chill vibes. And I love some good chill vibes. I listen to all those chill vibes. Where they always have some anime girl doing homework or in a spaceship. Not complain. Just saying. <laughs> right here. This will work as background music. See you in a couple minutes.